What's up, Capoeira Nation? Welcome back to the Capoeira Experience Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for keep doing Capoeira, supporting your school as always. Keep supporting your school so we can grow bigger Capoeira and we have bigger, bigger hadas and more people to, to go visit and more Capoeira to play. And uh, today I have a, a huge pleasure uh, because like probably since last year beginning of last year uh i started be, uh, getting more into like movements any 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 sort of movement uh, i capoeira and uh, i always like dances and a- everything in general and movements in general and i start following uh this this awesome guy and and i think it's a it's a it's really cool the the way how i approach movement through capoeira and uh, today I have the pleasure to interview Mafioso. How are you doing, man? Thanks, man. I'm good. Thank you for having me and love your show. Thank you so and much. And it's a pleasure for me to be here and just express my thoughts uh, and talk about capoeira and movement <laughs> and everything. So yeah. my pleasure is all mine. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much. And and you share share your experience, right? Because it's... It's, uh, I feel like Capoeira is about experience, any sort of experience. Even if it's one day, it's still a Capoeira experience. Exactly. Even if, if it's just one class, it's a single class. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, Capoeira has so many aspects. Uh, and it's all about being social for me. Uh, I think yeah, it's, yeah. The, it's, it's the most social martial art, uh, uh, as far yeah. as I know. Yeah. But that's also... Just an opinion, of course. And yeah, to experience on the first class, some lucky people get to experience the hoda, the music, and the get together, you know? Yes. So it's definitely an experience. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a nice. And, and I think the social part is where, like, of course, after the movements and all the acrobatic stuff, the social part is also what attracts people. And and be interact with other people and get to know other people, make a lot of friends and and all that. I think it's really really cool. Yeah, exactly. I mean, humans are social animals. 100%, okay. Yeah, yeah. And they have a brain which adapts to every kind of situation, but it adapts pretty well um, and mostly in situations where we have to get like more connected with each other so to be social is definitely just for your own good it's a skill of course you get to learn more and more to communicate with people uh, to let go of the anxiety and capoeira can really help you to develop your social skills and to actually find more about yourself also yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I, I I agree with that hundred percent. Cause uh, man, I'm a different person, completely different person that the person that the Kashishi that started a long mm-hmm. time ago. And he's, he's and I look back, he's like, man, what the hell is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> but that's like the beauty of um, of humans and of Capoeira also. Yes. It's the yes. diversity. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you can't really put people in boxes and ideas, so. You have to embrace diversity for me in order oh, to yes. to progress and to meet people and just share ideas, you know. Yeah. Sharing is free. At least it's still free, you know. Yeah. It might be... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it might come in an expense soon, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> well, ho- hopefully, hopefully, um, it doesn't get to, to a crazy point like that. But... Uh, knowledge i feel like today's days we're in a, on an era of, of knowledge and information is so much information out there and and it's very very easy to to find information because you just internet connection with other people and and you get to like for example uh uh where are you located right now so for people to to listen uh, yeah so i'm in athens greece nice. and i basically uh, train with my teacher, Monitor Kedachi Hins, uh, Art Our Academy, nice. uh, which is founded by Monitor Kedachi Hins. Oh, it's cool. called 
Casa do Bizoro. Nice. Yes, uh, it's in Athens, Greece. Uh, and of course now there are no trainings because of the corona. Of course, yeah. But we still get together and do online classes and share ideas and always try to stay in touch. Nice, nice. Now, <laughs> a movie, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and stretch also, of course. Uh, nice, uh, nice. We'll, we'll get into that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So now, as for the information yeah. uh, that you mentioned, I agree completely. Like, the information is so, so much today. And I don't know, since I went to school and I grew up, I had all the time information, information, then the internet. And I think it's important to have information, but to know how to use information also. Yes, yes, 100%. Yeah, I agree with that. So it's not bad that we have super, like, amounts of information, but as long as we know how to use it and not, like, misinterpret the, the information that we get. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's, I mean, you, you can have the information, but if you don't use it, it's, it's no point. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like having a beating ball at home and never put it together. It's like, okay, yeah, you have a beating ball, but you never use it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. You never get to the core of something if you don't do it or yeah. study it even. And that's like my problem that I have. Like, uh, I mean, I don't agree with in schools. That's. Yeah. They give you so much information and also universities sometimes yeah. some are good of course uh and i don't know every university in the world is cool but the majority right yeah their their goal is to give you information and they don't tell you one simple thing how to use the information yeah yeah so yeah then you get to find out yourself then you get anxiety and you stress out but yeah. You have to you have to take step by step, and everything you learn, you have to study like what you actually learned. Yeah, that's my I yeah. think my opinion. Yeah, yeah, and study, practice, and apply. Right, so that way, that way you you know what what you, what the information is for. Exactly, it's like yeah. a logical um, pattern, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And now for people, be before we get into more depth. Uh, for people to follow you on Instagram, so people can uh, see that, those moments. Yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, so I'm on Capoeira Daily on Instagram, and I also have my personal Instagram. Nice. But that's mostly for my photos because I'm a photographer also. Nice, <laughs> which are really uh, cool, man. I, those pictures are really nice. Thank you, brother. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. It's at p underscore adim a d d i m. So nice, Capra nice. Daily P underscore Nice, day. nice. And and his his uh photography Instagram, you can also find find it on the on the Capoeira Daily uh, page. And just make sure you go there, follow, and trust me, you're gonna get a lot of inspiration because it's a lot of movement. And <laughs> and talking about movement, uh how how you the the way and I think I, I don't know, I, I could be like probably getting it. Uh, uh, different, but the way the way you move, it reminds me to uh, Ido Portal. Is that right? <laughs> Ido is like a huge inspiration, and he's oh, an amazing guy. And have you have you met him? No, no, no. Uh, I actually I follow him on Instagram, of course. And okay. I I watch his videos and. I think he he's been a huge um, inspiration to the whole movement, uh, to the whole art of movement, right? Yeah. So, like, to tell me that you rem I remind you of him is like an honor, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like I started following him last year, and and when I find I saw his movements and he moving around and all that and and all the 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 patterns that he does mm -hmm. and then when i found out on uh, i saw the documentary of of him on youtube and i find out that he he started with capoeira i was like 
now everything makes sense now yeah 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 now everything is connected it's like man that that's the that, because capoeira is very a very dynamic and it's, it's just like unique unique on 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 movement and it's just like it's, it, it is a big inspiration and i love i love watching his stuff and and slowly getting into more movement because uh i just started pretty much I feel like you started. <laughs> yeah, that's that's so true. Like, um, like thank you for giving me like a pass to to say this now. Um, yeah, for sure. I also like every day I learn. You know, like yeah. there's no way someone can tell. Like at some point, I think might we might never be able to say like, yeah, I know this in an excellent way, or I'm perfect at this. I'm perfect yeah. at that. I mean, everyone who's telling that is mostly lying to themselves yeah. first. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, oh yeah. Um, for me, it shouldn't be like um, to reach perfection, but to enjoy the process of learning and to be able to like admire yourself as as you develop. For sure. And also, as you develop, the more you have to share. I feel yeah, and help people in bio service for sure. Yeah, because it's it's like we we need movement, you know. Because today's days with with so many office jobs, and we have that sedentary life of like just sitting on the chair for a long time, or now, or now at home. And we're back. A little technical issue with the Zoom, but we're back. So I was talking about the 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 sedentary life the, the the at least the average person right where like we need more movement and we need more more that inspiration f- finding that information of movement online i think is is a is a really good thing to see today's day especially with technology and all that yeah for sure i mean if you think about it our ancestors and the previous humans used to walk all around the earth oh, yeah. without oh, yeah having the technology yeah. or flying uh, airplanes uh, or like driving cars, bikes, everything. It's, it's natural to, to walk and to exercise. For sure. um, and it's, it's not like, um, like it's a fact that when you exercise and when you move, your mind gets stronger, like your brain, I mean, uh, the capacity of your brain gets stronger and you actually get smarter. I mean, that's scientifically proven. That's um, nice. Yeah. Like the neurons work uh, better and they develop uh, when you exercise and actually just work out, you know, you don't have to yeah. do crazy weightlifting. Even if you don't want to, you can dance. You can For sure. do martial arts. You can oh, walk, yeah. you can do marathons, you can, climb like walls you can do hiking whatever you want just move <laughs> yeah 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 for sure and and it's, it's funny that like you mentioned of, of the ancestors and all that because those people man just to like go get water that was a workout just to go exactly. get food that was a workout because you have to walk exactly you, you have to bring it back to the to where you live and and it's you know, you, you have to or carry the water or c- carry the animal, make sure like he, he, he's, you bring the food back or the water back. So that way you move and you exercise, you're pretty much in, and I'm hundred percent sure. And I mean, I, I don't really know. I don't have any, any proof about this, but I'm pretty sure our ancestors, they were like very, very strong physically and because you know it's, it's it's not easy to go 10 miles just to go go get water <laughs> a bucket exactly. of water to bring it to, to to the village no it's it's proven like historically yeah. and scientifically like anthropologists have conducted many um research uh like you know and many big um projects that were done uh, with anthropologists and historians, scientists, they found out that 
our human like our ancestors not only they were fit to yeah. to walk around to do exercises until their last day of living but they also had like um for example perfect and straight teeth or their bones were the bones much super much strong. much stronger yeah than today's uh today's humans yeah and that's that's actually you know easy to explain because we have technology so we move yeah. less yeah um, we have so much information so we get depressed more uh no Isn't one gives us no one yeah no one actually cares about the average person today because yeah. there's a tv so people like i think today people are so connected but they don't communicate 100 i i agree with that because especially like <laughs> It's, it's just funny how we use the name social media and it's social to, it's a medium to be social, right? And it's exactly. that, it, that's the last thing we do. <laughs> we, exactly. we don't talk to a lot. Yeah, we comment and all that, but having a conversation, like, hey man, how are you doing? Like, you know, like connect with people and and yes, it connects you with, with people and, and gives you the inspiration and gives you, but from my point of view and it's just my personal point of view is more superficial than than actually connect with the person that is posting those kind of stuff and be like hey man how, how you do this is I, I i like your work i like or complimenting other people's work and it's is is no is i guess probably like more ego on and the social media and be like oh look at me you know but on the on the other side is you post inspiration for other people. So that way is more inspirational, but sometimes we forget the, the, the hard work of, of that person is posting all the stuff behind the scene is a lot of failures is a lot of sweat and is a lot of frustration too, because you, you want to get to the point and, and we forget about the human behind that screen or on the video posting those like inspirations. You know, and, and sometimes we forget that section of that little piece of the human behind behind the technology or at least social media, no, on, on my point. Exactly. It's not like a, a small issue for me. It's like the, the, the main issue and the biggest uh, point to make. People don't, don't, uh, don't want to see something or some person to get inspired from, but they get inspired more from the idea that, for example, a video got like thousands of likes or uh, that like that person has like millions of followers or thousands and mm -hmm. yeah. like he makes money and stuff like that. I mean, that's, that's only numbers, you know, for sure. Yeah. Uh, numbers are important, but they're not too important when they come along uh, on the line with ideas for me for sure like for ideas sure. are something you can't actually count or measure because it's it's something that only a brain can produce and that's like the magic about humans you know that we can inspire each other 100%. and have role models like idols uh which is not always healthy but if you if you can like split these two like an idea and uh inspirational figure then for me that's pretty way a pretty good way to start for sure and yeah. as you said yeah like it's social media but it's it's a fake world mostly yeah, out there sure. yeah um yeah. people just it's like the irony like me and you we every day we have like our difficulties we get and people that are listening now uh they have like their issues you know like yeah. they fight their own yeah uh, battle and what you see on instagram is only like birthdays and super like crazy cars and travels sure. yeah but they, they no one one second information of the the 24 hours of that day <laughs> Exactly, yeah. And when people like post stories and stuff where they're actually true or they express an opinion or they are like crying or shouting, 
like we get annoyed and disturbed uh, like well f- what's what's this kind of post like it's not happy ah oh, it's not for me i unfollow yeah. this person yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's like, it's funny it's funny it's like yeah that's that's hypocrisy you know for sure 100% yeah because yeah, we, we only we only look for for what benefits us right and it's like oh this person doesn't make me happy bye and then yeah, yeah it's like hey, that person is a human too and and the, the other thing too kind of like ironic is there's people that that are awkward in person too like i met people social media people were like they post every single day or or they have a big following and and he's he's in person he's completely awkward he's a completely different person he's like yeah be be is is i don't know it's is a it's a really ironic thing of of social media exactly so yeah. that's a good point that you said yeah. i yeah. i agree and it also happens to me like what you said um that's that's what happens when when you get too much into virtual reality and not yes. too too much into the reality we have like yeah. this here is like a virtual reality oh, so for sure. a, a virtual interview but yeah. on the other hand uh after like the the interview or like during the interview also we can understand that this is actually also a human conversation which is helped by the technology for sure but you have to really think these things i mean it's another thing the virtual reality and it's a whole different thing than reality for, for sure for sure for sure and and n- now coming back way uh to to the capoeira subject how how how's your routine your your daily routine for for capoeira or for movement in general uh, for me i think to have a routine and a schedule is quite helpful um so i would get up in the day have a like a super good breakfast because i think for me it's super important uh to have a good breakfast for sure and then then i'm going to take my bike my bicycle and i'm going to ride at least three, four kilometers until nice. I, I clear my mind uh, of everything. And then I will practice a little. Um, it depends on the day. Some days are good. Some days are super bad. For sure, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like some days your body can communicate and some other days it's like having two different worlds. Like oh, you great. try to move your, your hand and it goes like the other way. Yeah, yeah. You know? And you're like, man, come on. Yeah. Come back to where I want you to be. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I would practice a little. Uh, that's why my username is Capora Daily, because I believe a little exercise coming from the Capoeira background uh, is the easiest way to develop like skills in your body and to feel more healthy and fit For sure. uh, oh, yeah. du- during these times. Oh, you yeah. can practice with no space at all. You can practice with like having a whole gym for yourself, you know. Capoeira is still an art where you can adapt. 100%, yeah. yeah. So that's basically my morning routine. And then I try to spend as less as I can to, like time on social media and nice. the internet and discover some music while I train nice. and just try to take some time just like for me and my, my mind nice. basically. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. And, and, uh, earlier you mentioned about stretching, like, uh, I think it was like off camera, like off recording. Um, yeah, yeah. You, it's a secret. You- People don't have to hear it. Oh. <laughs> well, if, if you listen to this, this message on Australian. <laughs> yeah. Please, please stay confidential, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just between us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, how is your stretching routine? How how long do you stretch? Or you have like a routine? You you say like, okay, today I'm going to stretch 10 minutes. 
or you say, oh, I'm going to stretch five, 20, 30 minutes, an hour, or how? you have something set up for that? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I think I will use what I said before also, that okay. some days are good, some days are bad. Nice. And what I mean is that you can't push yourself every day if your body doesn't really feel like stretching. Yeah. Because I think that you have to stretch, you have to stretch when you are relaxed and the muscles stretch way better when they are relaxed. And I mean, of course you have to do a warm up, but that doesn't mean that you have to run 25 kilometers in uh, fast pace to stretch your legs after. For sure. Yeah. It's just to breathe, uh, correctly and mindfully and pay attention to your uh, arms, to your legs, to your body in general, you know, and I try to stretch at least every two days now, Nice. let's okay. say. Yeah. And it, it depends. You can get like 10 minutes if I have like a busy uh, day and schedule, or you can go up to two or three hours nice. of stretching. Okay. Oh, wow. Cool. Okay. And and do do you stretch like like static or dynamically? Um, I prefer like because I'm kind of a lazy person. Okay. Uh, I prefer to meditate when I stretch. Okay. So I try to combine these two. Nice. Okay. It it is relaxing. I I usually do that too. And and you know you you get in 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 the cycle of thinking and you start thinking yeah. other stuff and you just just like focus your body on on the uh, stretching and then your mind and something else of like something positive of course that that you can be like okay you know i gotta do this or do this and do this and or or just what whatever you you feel like using that time to think something or not think something at all yeah exactly uh I don't know if you mean this, but when you do something, just be there. Yeah. Or yeah, 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 yeah. If you try to train and, for example, you go to a capoeira class and your teacher has the schedule of the day and you're thinking about where are you going to have a drink after or where are you going to travel the next year? I mean, of course, thoughts sometimes will fly, you know, in your, yeah. like, fly here and there. But the important thing is to try to stay focused. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Because when you stay focused, you learn faster. Yeah, yeah. You're present. And, of course, some people can't focus that much. Uh, they focus less than others. I mean, that's all natural. For sure. That's how you, you, have, you just have to meet your brain better you know yeah. it's your friend use it yeah yeah 100%. and work work with it yeah and do, do you do you feel is it something there that you feel that you struggle the most or at least from the beginning that you say like man is is hard or it was hard for me to get this and 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 you you win and you practice and practice and practice and you overcome it is it something there um for capoeira movements uh, or in uh, general? For, for, for capoeira, for capoeira. For capoeira. Um, I think I was really struggling to, at the first, at the start, to do the au. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. The cartwheel. Okay. Uh, and I couldn't, like, um, coordinate my body and brain. So in my mind, I had the image of a perfect au cartwheel. Yeah. But in reality, uh, hey, you buy th th else. things were were funnier. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's when that happened, like the first week of me practicing capoeira. And that's how I started to develop the idea of doing things more slowly and like, let's say, more in more focus. Nice. So I would break down the au. And then I would try to put the pieces together and connect things. Nice. Okay. So you, you did pretty much like conditioning, quote unquote, of like uh, uh, for the AU to, to try to get AU. 
yeah, at the start, nice. but but then the many, day. many moves like, for example, Makako was like my dream move since the day one that nice. I saw in Makako. Your Makako is pretty cool, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, it's pretty uh, nice. It's also the same thing, like, you know, train and actually, you know, to train smart, not hard. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. And how, uh, is it something today that you're struggling with any moment in general that you say, like, man, is is I'm working on this and I'm not getting it, and uh, this is how I'm approaching this to overcome it. I say I struggle basically with everything every day. Like okay. I still, I still think my my moves are, you know, not something important or special because. I tend to think always about the next step okay. in something. So, but I get to enjoy this process. Nice. Um, so, yeah, everything is a trouble for me. Like okay. even my, even myself uh, is a problem for me. <laughs> you yourself as a person, you you mean? <laughs> yeah, like yeah, okay, I'm okay. Joking, but you know, like it's it's a process that you have to enjoy. That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because see, man, is. And I think that's why uh, um, for for people to get into capoeira when they are already adult is is very is is complicated. I, I'm not gonna say hard, but it's very complicated because uh, man, if if I have every single person that started capoeira we, here in, my, uh, in Indianapolis, I'll, my class probably will be like 50 people. But mm -hmm. it's just like a person comes and I guess they probably struggle. They, they don't really give me the feedback and then they don't come back because it's, it's, it's a process, right? And people get frustrated. People say, say like, oh, a martial art doing car wheels. What the hell is this? And then uh, martial art doing music, you know, and then it's, 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 it's a struggle and people just give it up really, really quick. <laughs> exactly. And that's, that's uh, why, like, I mean, this is happening because, as we said earlier, people get so much information, and why, while, while, while they're getting all this information, and you know, they see stuff, and they get inspired, and inspired, and inspired. In the end, they don't know where they belong, so they get to start things, then they leave them at the first day. Uh, yeah. Then they start more things, or like they, um, they experience things, not for the actual thing, but just to have like the, the experience, uh, because everyone says, yeah, do stuff to have experience, uh, see this, see that, see this, but actually life is much more sim simpler. No. Yeah. Much more simple, uh, in reality. Yeah. So everything you do and you feel okay about yourself, like this is a tip I say to friends and like, people I happen to train and students um, that I tell them like narrow the time frame in your life so if you feel like stressed and overwhelmed or after a week of capoeira and you're not sure if you like it or any kind of movement uh, just think take some time off and give like an applaud to yourself what you've achieved in sure. this week, for example. So if you do like, a, let's talk in Capoeira, a good armada and it's correct, you have the balance, you have the strength to support your body, like have fun with it, you know? Like, for sure, yeah. Say congrats to yourself and take it from there, you know? Don't try to, like, for example, the worst kind of salad you can eat is something with all the greens and all the vegetables inside. Like, yeah. It won't be tasty in the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to know what to put in like in a sure. bowl, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're not going to put like a bunch of stuff that you don't even know what it is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Just to put things inside to have yeah, everything. I, yeah. Yeah. You're just to have it. Yeah. Yeah. And, but on the, on the other spectrum, us as an instructor or teachers, is also our duty to break it down for people to make make it easy to digest. Because I've gone to to classes where it's just like throw a bunch of information to beginners 
and he's like, man, he's, he's slow down. He's, he's, yes. he's, 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 you, you want somebody to run when they, they just learn how to walk. So he's mm -hmm. just, hold on, let, let's go step by step and just be patient. You know, you're, you're, we're going to get you there, but do, do a step one first and eventually step two and eventually step three. And you're going to see here to a few weeks. And then now you, you can go, okay, now, now I can teach you this. And, and it's just trusting the process and be patient to learn and, and know how to teach too. Exactly. Like, that's super uh, correct what you said. And I think it's our, in our nature to want everything faster. Yeah, and yeah. now, because as humans, as we grow up, we tend to get greedy if we don't um, handle our emotions and our um, wants, you know? So even me, like when I started, I saw these crazy acrobatic moves and uh, like good beating bow skills and like from my teacher. Uh, yeah. And I wanted everything like right now. Yeah. But then if you try it in the wrong way, you might get injured, you might get more disappointed. So and there's a process. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like there's a process. Yeah, for sure. And it's called step by step. Yeah. And training and practicing and you know not giving it up because he's we 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 at the beginning especially we tend to to compare ourselves with a teacher and be like, Oh, I can do that. Or or yeah, you you do it because you've been doing it for 20 years. And he's like, I mean, yeah, I've been doing it for 20 years, but just you can get there too you know it's, it's just like be patient and practice and keep training exactly and for some people it might take if like they have a good um ability to understand kinesthetics they they might take less than some other people yeah. to do acrobatics or for the music which is also um another form of intellect which is okay. called the uh, which is music and mathematics, like the logical. Yeah. Um, but does it, that doesn't mean that someone is actually like smarter than you. It's For sure, just 100%, yeah. how your brain works. Yeah. And also you can't copy some someone's moves. For sure. Everyone has his or her own body and structure. Yeah. And like even the AU, you know, or the handstand, it's a signature move. Yeah, but yeah. it's it's so such a generic generic move, but everyone is different on it, and that's like the beauty I of agree. it. I agree. Yeah, is 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 funny that you mentioned that too because everything everyone is unique on their way, and that that's why I love capoeira because man, each jinga is completely different to every person. There's exactly. no jinga that looks a hundred percent the same like the other person. Even teachers, you know, even if you've been with your teacher for a hundred years, is your gene is not gonna be the same because you're you are your own person, you know. And I exactly. think that's a beautiful thing about capoeira. Yeah, like the jinga is like the footprint of oh, yeah. the capoeirista. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the the fingerprint, like also, you know. Yeah, and that's the diversity and. We have to embrace it. Like, yeah. You can never close the circle in Capoeira, even if it has to be perfect. And some teachers will get annoyed if you open the circle and don't <laughs> respect the bateria. Yeah. But even like in a circle, if you try to find out the P, you know, yeah, the three three point fourteen, it's endless, right? Yeah. So. That's also about capoeira. Oh, it's yeah. an endless, endless form of art. And if you study the roots and like the founders, let's say, which is not the correct word, but still, you know, to get the idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't know that after we we would have to put words and ideas in boxes. You know, it was just a form of liberation to fight their freedom. hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So 
Yeah, and, and to, to wrap it up, um, the last question. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, actually, two questions. Because you, you are into movement and, uh, and, and into the, the more your body. What, what do you think is your favorite capoeira moment? And you say like, oh, man, I love doing this. Que say macaco, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you can do you can do uh, variations of macaco, no? <laughs> oh, oh, that's true. Uh, you got me there. Yeah, no, that's true. Uh, but I don't know. Um, no, you can you can say well, well whatever. I I, I think the helicoptero, a nice. helicoptero or a helicopter, yeah, aerial is a beautiful move to watch, and it takes a lot of training and effort to nice. Uh, to master and i would say also the one of my favorite moves it's not like something wow but it's very spiritual is a like the negativa and the way you enter the hoda in the angola oh cool okay okay nice not, not in negativa the angola but the negativa in cordoggio or regional i don't know okay Yeah, I, th I think I know wh which yeah. nature you're talking about. Nice. And the last question for uh, to wrap it up. Uh, single advice for the capoeira, uh, uh, capoeira community about movement? Just one. Advice. Uh, or uh, or an, an advice for uh, whatever flows for, for the capoeira community. Uh, respect everyone before uh, running to conclusions and opinions and remember the road to personal success is a very long but a beautiful one nice I nice. think yeah nice that's awesome that's awesome uh, I agree because you know You, you never know how much effort that person put behind behind the video uh, that whoever sees and on anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Like there's a saying from Socrates, the philosopher. He was saying that you should be kind for everyone has their own fight. 100%. You never know who's like the person you have uh, next to you is going through. So just be respectful and um, instead of talking more, try to listen more also. Yes, yes, yes. And also, because we're talking about capoeira, you have to be of service. Whatever you do, you have to be of service, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, give, give back to, to the exactly. Company. Yeah, because it, it's just, uh, th there's a podcast, I don't remember which number, but there was a, there was a podcast where like, we uh, as a capoeiristas right like we we take and we take and we take information but it's going to be a point where we have to give back we start giving back because uh, this is it's just part of nature of of capoeira i don't i don't know how to like put into specific words but giving back is is the best thing that we can do in capoeira exactly so just be grateful and you know Remember to have gratitude in your yeah, life. Oh yeah. oh yeah, it's it's in our nature. Even if you don't like it, you have it in your DNA. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yes. Yeah. Well, man, thank you so much. Thank you so much for for sharing your. It was a really really nice conversation. I really liked it. Um, thank you for the invitation and of course, always man. always uh, happy to share my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And uh, what is your social media again for so people can follow you really quick? Okay, so on Instagram, I don't have Facebook or YouTube yet. I don't know if I'll ever have, but it's uh, at Capoeira Daily. Okay. And my other profile, the personal is at P underscore Adim, A D D I M. Capoeira nice. Daily, P Adim. Nice. Nice. Go there, follow, get some really nice inspiration there. Uh, uh, watch those videos and they're pretty cool moments, man. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. sir. Yeah, of course. Uh, thank you so much for sharing and, and coming to the podcast. Thank you for inviting me and have fun. 
Talk to you later. See you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for getting this far. Remember, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up on Facebook or YouTube. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is going to help us and help me to get bigger numbers and bigger subscribers so we can give more information, okay? Please, if you're listening, I know you're listening, I know you're watching, please give me a subscribe, give me a, give, give me a like, okay? I know you're watching right here or listening. All right, have an amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening every single episode, especially the episode we just did. All right, thank you so much. Peace.